Hi, I'm Mike Song, and today's tip of the month is the Quick Access Toolbar. My job is to help you get more done and have more fun at work. And if you're interested in live webinar, seminar training, e-learning training, just email me at info at getcontrol.net. Okay, let me break out of this PowerPoint presentation. We'll use this actual presentation to illustrate the Quick Access Toolbar. Look in the upper left-hand corner for a triangle with a line over it. It can be very hard to see, and most people never see it and never use it. Use it. When you click on it, you get a drop down of some useful sort of standard things that you can add to this toolbar area right up here. The idea is we'll add the buttons that we use the most. So for example, quick print is a great way in Microsoft Word for me to quickly print that document. It goes right to the printer with my normal printing settings. Now, other things I like to add in PowerPoint, since this is all about design, are things that have to do with formatting and graphics. For example, I often click on the animations button, okay, and I click then on animation pane because I want to see what animations I've created. So if I right click on this and add it to the quick access toolbar, you can see up here a little symbol appears up there. Now the symbol is not so great, so I want to show you a great modification. If you click on the quick access toolbar uh, triangle again and select show below ribbon, now I can see this in a little bit more clear location. It's got a little more color to it and I'll know what that button means. It's the animation pane. Now other things I often do are move and animate and, and do things like that where I move stuff around to make my presentations interesting and fun. So you can right click and add an entire animation gallery there as well. And of course this would work for whatever you do in Excel, PowerPoint, Word. Uh, think of your applications, uh, buttons that you frequently click on. Now I'll click on view here and I'll also add the slide master because a lot of times I go back and I edit something onto the master slide so it shows up on every slide in PowerPoint. I'll do one more just to kind of give you the idea. Hey, I often will move an image backwards. So if something's on front, in front of it, I'll move it in back back in back of that image and I can right click here and add that to the quick access toolbar. So what are we doing here? We're reducing clicks, we're getting to our tool set faster and we're making it easier to get more done and have more fun at work. And that's our tip of the month. If you'd like a live training session with your team, a virtual, a webinar, uh, e-learning, we have all of those options at Get Control. Just send me an email at info at getcontrol.net and we'll send you a brochure and we can move from there. Thanks for your time and have fun this week getting more done.